Yo, what's up, guys? It's Chalon Kwa here once again. Best Dota 2 player this world's ever fucking seen. Best Dota psychologist this world's ever fucking seen, okay? And, you know, in this episode of Dota Psychology, I'm going to be focusing again on my exceptionally proven Necrophos Ancient strategy, okay? Now, I know you guys have seen this time and time again, and I'm sure some of you guys are, you know, sick of seeing it. All right, but the fact of the matter is, is that I'm a fucking Dota psychologist, okay? And, you know, ask any professional psychologist such as myself, how is the, what is the best way to, you know, analyze your test subjects? What is the best way to, you know, see how they perform after certain things and how they actually perform after repeated exposure to these techniques. Now, if you'll recall, all right, this Usagi drop kid was actually the same Templar assassin from my Dota Griefen 20 video where I had a, a jungle necrophos or an ancient necrophos rather. So we're going to, you know, do the procedure again to see what is updated response to this emotional, you know, Whatever the fuck, okay? Because I'm trying to call the best Dota 2 psychologist this world's ever fucking seen. I'm a Dota 2 mathematician. I'm a Dota psychologist. I'm a Dota calculus professor, okay? So, I know all the ins and outs of Dota, you guys. And by the way, Gabe Newell himself has been personally DDoSing my MMR, okay? I'm getting the worst fucking teammates. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm just getting the worst teammates, alright? Like the Shadow Fiend game, okay? I have a 48-minute... Manta, Ultimate Orb, Spectre, alright, let's see my other fucking games, and, yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you guys those later, I'm just getting, actually, let me just show you one more, okay, let me just show you the, because you may, you may see all these losses, and you may think, you know, it may look like it's my fault, but I'm gonna tell you guys right now, this Death Prophet game, okay, 0 and 7, 1 and 8 Earthshaker, 0 and 9 Shadow Shaman, okay? Either this was Banana Shit Stand Slam Dog Shit Jamma DDoSing my entire team. Or I don't know what the fuck was going on. My Ember Spirit game, we have an 0 and 5 Zeus, an 0 and 9 6.3k anti -mate. So that's a shit that you had to put up with, okay? So... And I've also been meaning to test out my new starting builds for my Ancient Snecrophos. Alright, let me just make sure I don't have anyone muted. So we're going to see... We're going to see exactly how our teammates react to my Jungle Necrophos, or my Ancient Snecrophos, rather. So, you know, I've been playing a lot of Dota recently, and I've come to realize that when I'm not practicing my psychology methods, when I'm not, you know, exploring the the field of Dota psychology, I'm not using my mental... And that fucking horn again. I'm not using my mental capacity to its true, you know, whatever the fuck, all right? To its true potential. And I can't see my fucking... The bottom half of my screen right now, just so you guys know, so... You know, we have a shit stained fucking Shadow Shaman. Looks like this fucking dog shit fucking Dying Hunter. And this is going to be great, you guys. This is going to really improve the findings of my psychology technique. Because getting a first blood like this, typically, that's going to give them a huge, you know, dopamine boost, okay? That's going to make them think that they won the game already. So, you know, it's going to be even more demoralizing when they see me over here. And no one has actually noticed yet. Or maybe they have noticed, but they're just constantly shoving it to the back of their mind because they're in denial. They don't want to believe that this game is actually fucking over, okay? And I'm going to accidentally screw up my block on accident over here. And hopefully no one saw that. So, you know, once again, Chalon Claw, best Dota psychologist this world's ever fucking seen. This is going to give me a perfect opportunity opportunity to examine what is going on elsewhere in the map. And looks like this fucking shit stain fucking bounty hunter. It looks like this shit stain anti-mage is actually just fucking dog shit. 
Okay, I don't know what the fuck that kid's doing. Now I'm gonna sp spam some pings down here. So it looks like either this particular orange player has grown resistant to this psychology technique, and I don't know why Bounty Hunter just walks in like a fucking idiot, okay? But he's just fucking dead. This fucking shit saying fucking anti fucking Magus might just be fucking dead, but the Timber Saw has no fucking mana, so. You know, this fucking shit saying fucking Shadow Shaman might actually be just fucking dead right here, you guys. And yeah, that kid's signing the fuck out. And this fucking shit saying fucking anti mage appears to just be fucking dead. And looks like the Shadow Fiend actually jacked the rune right there, so. I might actually have mute all chat on. So surprisingly, no one has actually had a psychological response to me being in this location. And this is actually, you know, a finding that I have been expecting. Because in my vast research in this particular method of Dota Psychology, you know, I don't know what the fuck this fucking shit stained fucking Earthshaker is doing. Looks like he's going to place a ward up here. And it looks like our fucking Shadow Fiend's getting fucking ganked down there. So we might actually be killing a shit stained fucking Earthshaker right here, you guys. And this is the, you know, benefit of being a an ancient Snekrofos, okay? Because I'm fucking Child on Qua, the best fucking Dota 2 player this world's ever fucking seen. That's going to allow me to form my boots in record speed. And you know what? It looks like we might actually be farming... A relatively fast three minute boots bottle combination, okay? And that's really gonna boost my gameplay as a ancient Snekrofos, alright? That's really gonna allow me to have the mana and health regeneration that I need to keep me sustained while I'm farming these ancients, alright? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swoop in here and I'm gonna attempt to farm a bottle really quickly right here. And it looks like we did actually form a bottle right there. So what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to continue farming my ancients over here. And it's going to give me ample health and mana regeneration. Okay, this is going to come, this is going to pay huge dividends. As you can see, it's already, it's only three minutes in the game. And I've managed to farm a bottle and boots in addition to my Wraith Band. And I still have three Tangos to really boost my game plan. And I'm actually going to, you see... This is where the bottle comes into play. I'm already missing some HP. So I'm going to be grabbing a bounty rune over here. And as you can see, I'm already level 2, you guys. I'm already a level 2 ancient Snekrofos with boots and a bottle. I don't know why this fucking shit stain fucking Shadow Fiend is just following me around like a fucking idiot. Okay, I don't know why he's just saying bottle over and over. Right? I don't know what message he's trying to communicate. We might actually transition this into a cracking the moon runes technique. And it looks like this shit stain actually somehow is having a psychological effect that we have not been expecting, alright? So, you know, either this guy's my biggest fucking fanboy the world's ever fucking seen, or he just knows that I'm the best fucking Dota 2 player this world's ever fucking seen just because I'm the best fucking ancient Snekrofos this world's ever fucking seen. So, it looks like... The orange player down here, his, you know, reactions to my, to my techniques is actually, he's, go, he's going numb to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to transition to this, we're going to transition this rather into a cracking the moon runes Dota psychology test. Okay, and, funny. and the orange player over th here thinks he, and that was a, that was a great raise. By the Shadow Fiend player here, okay? So Orange player thinks he has me figured out, but what he doesn't realize is he actually is having... It's a troll. It's just a troll. I'll just deal with it. He actually is having a psychological response to my, you know, psychological explorations, okay? And we are going to make sure that this moon room gets cracked, you guys. And we might actually... I'm going to alt-tab really quick. And I'm actually going to turn down the volume on the ping just a little bit so that it's slightly less annoying. I'm going to open up the console really quick. And that actually didn't fucking work. This game is so shit! I have to enable cheats. 
And I can't fucking type right now because my fucking... There we go. So, we are cracking the moon right here, you guys. And it does look like I am suffering a DDoS attack. So, you know, I don't know what the fuck's going on, you guys. I don't know why I had to enable cheats to, you know, just reduce my fucking pain sound. But I'm fucking trying to look all the best fucking necrophos this world's ever fucking seen. We're going to transition this into a hard carry... Necrophos. I don't know why our fucking anti magus has a fucking headdress, okay? But we're just gonna continue farming the fucking creeps down here. And this is gonna boost the fucking dog shit out of our fucking gameplay. <laughs> and yeah, he needs to clear his voice really quick, so. I don't know what the fuck this fucking anti mage is doing, you guys. I don't know what the fuck that kid's doing, but. You know, this Windrunner really has, you know, a high amount of phlegm in his throat that he needs to clear out because that's impeding on his ability to communicate properly, as you can see right there in that situation. So, you know, we're just going to continue roaming on the, roaming around on the map using the benefit of our abundance of mana regeneration. And we're actually going to get a rune up here. And, yeah, this guy thinks that, you know, he actually thinks that he has this psychological experiment figured out. But what he doesn't realize is he's actually providing us with all new psychological findings that have never before seen, been seen in the field of Dota psychology. Because never before has there ever been anyone actually aware of the fact that a psychology experiment is being performed on them. So that is really, like, he doesn't understand it, but he's actually providing us with brand new, groundbreaking findings. The findings that we've actually been looking for all along. So he doesn't actually realize the benefit that he's providing to us. So, you know, once again, Chalon Paul, best Dota 2 psychologist this world's ever fucking seen. All right. And I don't know how that fucking shit stand away. I don't know what the fuck. This is a shit that you have to put up with you guys. Every single fucking game. Every single fucking game. That's a shit. That fucking shit stain fucking and fucking with my fucking mouse right here. So. Yeah, my mouse is fucking dying, you guys. So. You know. Just running around. I don't know what the fuck. There might actually be an Earthshaker on low HP over there, so we're actually gonna do some scouting. We might actually be dead right here, you guys, but this is part of Dota psychology, okay? It looks like the Alchemist doesn't actually realize that we're over here. And I don't know what our fucking Windranger is doing. And yeah, this game appears to be fucking over. This fucking shit same fucking Earthshaker just fucking DDoSed the fucking dog shit out of me. And I'm getting some fucking DDoS attacks. So, this is actually a part of my psychological experiment, you guys. So, you know, I don't know what the fuck's going on right now. I'm just trying to perform a psychological experiment, okay? I'm just trying to, you know, give the Dota community exactly what it needs, okay? A psychoanalysis of its own, you know, reactions, okay? Because I'm the best fucking necrophos this world's ever fucking seen. And we have a fucking shit saying fucking timber saw over here. And I don't know where my fucking team is. I don't know. I'm just going to use this bottle to my advantage. I don't know what the fuck this fucking shit saying fucking shadow sham is doing. And yeah, it looks like we're really getting to this orange player. So, you know, it really is a battle between him and the shadow fiend. On who's gonna crack first. And we might actually go back to the Shadow Fiend and see if we can get a nice reaction out of him. We might actually go for the Windranger because you know we might we might be able to crack him as well. And this is gonna be more of a more of a experiment that you guys will recognize him being a Windranger and all. So, you know, we're gonna see. Just how far we can take this experiment. And it looks like this fucking shit saying fucking anti magus is fucking feeding nonstop the entire fucking game. He's already died two fucking times. Okay. 
you have a shit same fucking alchemist, a shit same fucking wind ranger, with fucking level one fucking power shot. Okay, and I might be suffering a DDoS attack. He might actually be getting. He actually has a fucking blink dagger. I don't know where the fuck my fucking team is. All right, I don't know what the fuck these fucking kids are doing. This is a fucking mid alchemist with a fucking blink dagger. It looks like Earthshaker just DC'd from the fucking game right there. And let's see how our anti mage is doing. So yeah, he did opt for the headdress first build. So you know that is sign right. That's a sign right there that he's fucking dog shit. Okay. And we have a fucking shit same fucking timber saw down here. So this game is getting pretty fucking boring pretty fast, you guys. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna transition into an ancient necrophobes. And looks like our Shadow Fiend did farm another bottle, so that's really gonna boost his gameplay. And I don't know what the fuck this fucking Invoker's doing. And yeah, we are definitely gonna attempt to crack the Moon Rune on this Wind Ranger player. Unless this fucking Alchemist fucking DDoSes me right here. I'm getting fucking DDoS by fucking Alchemist, alright? Looks like the Invoker just got a fucking double kill. Or just got a kill, rather, and I don't know what- This team is just falling apart, you guys. This fucking dog shit, fucking shit same fucking Shadow Fiend just feeding the entire fucking game. We have a fucking headdress first, fucking anti-mage, okay? We have a fucking shit stain, fucking Wind Ranger. Just fucking dog shit. You see the shit that you have to put up with every single fucking game, okay? Every single fucking game. Like, look at this fucking shit, you guys. Look at this fucking dog shit. Like, look at this Lena game, okay? We have a fucking 7 and fucking 9 carry fucking CK with a feeding fucking Sand King. Alright. Let's see, what other fucking games we got? Look at this Lena game, you guys. We got a fucking shit stain, 1 and 8 fucking Lich, 2 and 9 anti mage, 2 and 6 fucking shit stain, fucking Dazzle. Okay. We got. You know, look at this fucking Spirit Breaker game, alright? Let me actually just. Let me actually just show you guys right now how fucking shit these fucking dog shit teammates are, okay? Every single fucking game. Let me just show you really quickly, alright? Really quickly, I'm gonna show you guys how my zoning support spirit breaker just absolutely fucking dumps. Hopefully, hopefully this doesn't crash my fucking game right here. So, you know, I'm the best fucking spirit breaker this world's ever fucking seen, okay? My team is talking shit. The entire fucking game. If I can put this on hero fucking chase. We got banana shit stands and dog shit jamma on fucking legion commander. Okay. And I'm a fucking five mango zoning support fucking spirit breaker. Alright. And these fucking shit stands are talking shit to me. The entire fucking game. Alright. Or before the game starts rather. They're talking shit about my fucking build. A shit stain fucking invoker. Talking shit about my fucking build. And here I am. Just fucking dumpstering kids. On fucking Spirit Breaker, alright? This fucking shit stained fucking Wind Ranger is just fucking dog shit. She's fucking dead. This fucking shit stained fucking axe is just fucking dead, okay? Just non stop fucking dumpstering kids. And we got this fucking shit stained fucking Ember Spirit up here, okay? This kid's fucking dead, alright? And then we got the shit stains in the fucking bottom lane. Those kids are fucking dead. Okay, I'm trying to call the best fucking zoning support fucking spirit breaker this world's ever fucking seen. We got this fucking shit stain Wind Ranger. That kid's fucking dead, you guys. You know, then we got a fucking shit stain fucking. We got a fucking shit stain fucking Ogre Magi over here. That kid's fucking dead. Then we got a fucking shit stain fucking Wind Ranger, right? This fucking shit stain fucking Wind Ranger is just fucking dead. Because I'm trying to call the best fucking spirit breaker this world's ever fucking seen by my team. This fucking dog shit, alright? Non stop feeding. The entire fucking game. We got shit same fucking undying. Okay, this kid's fucking dead. Alright. Eight minutes in the fucking game. Our team has ten fucking kills. I've been a part of nine of them. Okay. We got a fucking shit same fucking Wind Ranger. That kid's fucking dead. Okay, just fucking non-stop fucking dumpstering all the shit stains. We got some shit stains in the fucking bottom lane. Okay. That kid's fucking dead. That kid's fucking dead. And I got DDoS right there, I think, so... You know, more of the fucking story, you guys. That kid's fucking dead. That kid's fucking dead. 
Okay, they're all just fucking dead on my fucking screen. I'm a fucking zoning support spirit breaker. Let me pause the game, you guys. 16 kills on the fucking team. And I have been a part of almost all of them. But our fucking team is dog shit. Alright. Let's actually see what's going, going on back in this game. Let's see how the psychological experiment Echo is taking place. Fuck, he's back. Alright, whatever. And so yeah, Chalon Qua, best Dota 2 player this world's ever fucking seen. Gonna TP into the lane. Can you stop fucking feeding, you fucking shit stain? Get some fucking EXP. Alright, get some much needed EXP so I don't get a fucking abandoned. And we got a shit stain fucking Timbersaw over here. And I'm suffering a minor DDoS attack. Alright, DDoS by my own fucking Shadow Shaman. Okay, we are gonna be buying back into the game right here. And that is how you get DDoS by your own fucking Shadow Shaman. So, you know, it looks like our team is kind of having a rough game right now. So, we're going to remedy that. And we're actually going to go farm some jungle creeps over here. And it looks like the Earthshaker actually just abandoned the fucking game, you guys. So, it's time to transition this from a Dota 2 psychology lesson into a hardcore... Core necrophobes, because I'm the best fucking necrophobes this world's ever fucking seen. Unfortunately, this fucking microphone is extremely fucking large right now, so I can't exactly see. Can we kill this guy, maybe? And I'm actually just gonna farm for the rest of the fucking game. If I could just get a fucking Aghanim's fucking Skepter, we might actually be able to make a fucking. I'm actually suffering a massive DDoS attack right here, you guys. Suffering a mass- that was an extremely late Sunstrike, and there's not actually much I could do right now. So this game appears to just be fucking over. So once again, Chalon Qua showing you guys how to win games, okay? Showing you how to dumpster kids and fucking do it. I actually need to check my fucking hard drive space right now, because... Yeah, so I do have 100 gigabytes left of hard drive space. And unfortunately, this does look like it's going to be an extremely long game, so... I might actually have to cut this recording, so... You know, I am the best Dota 2 player this world's ever fucking seen. That won't happen for at least another 15 minutes, though. So hopefully this game ends by then. And can you stop fucking feeding this fucking alchemist? And I don't know why this fucking alk has a fucking solar crest and a Saint Yasha, but this game actually appears to be fucking over, alright? I don't know what the fuck this fucking anti-mage is doing. I don't know what the fuck... Is even going on right now. And yeah, that kid's fucking dead. This fucking shit stain fucking Rasta's fucking dead. So you know, overall, I think we, you know, I think we got some nice psychological findings, alright? You know, we really are able to, and it looks like Earthshaker's actually reconnected to the game. So unfortunately for him, he will be actually losing rating for this game. And there's not much you can do about that, you guys. There's actually not that much he can do about that. And the game is safe to leave. And looks like Windranger actually, you know, reconnected to the fucking game right here. And it looks like Rasta appears to just be fucking dead over here. You know, this game is actually a fucking waste of time, you guys. There's not that much going on right now. Looks like Anti-Mage just got 680 gold for killing a shit stained fucking Timber Saw. And... Yeah, this game is actually fucking over. And it looks like it's really getting to Timber Saw that we can't end the game right now. So, you know, let's see what other fucking games we've got, you guys. Let's see what other fucking dog shit... Like, look at this fucking Storm Spirit game, alright? Fucking 4 and 14 fucking Spirit Breaker. A 0 and 7 line. Just a shit stained fucking team. Every single fucking game. Every single fucking game. I just get these fucking dog shit. Like, look at this Phantom Assassin game, you guys. Just fucking dog shit. Alright? This was a mid alchemist. Speeds the entire fucking game. Got a fucking shit stained fucking Mask of Madness. SNY Juggernaut, 30 minutes in the fucking game. We have a fucking four staff fucking line. And just nothing you can do when you have these fucking shit stained fucking teammates. Every single goddamn fucking game. Alright. 
already saw that Shadow Queen game. No, we have this Shadow Queen game against Banana Shit, Sansa, and Dog Shit Jamma. We must have DDoSed my team. 0 and 6, Chaos Knight. 1 and 8, Wyvern. 0 and 11. There's just nothing you can do, you guys. Either Gabe Newell is personally DDoSing me, or I really have started the biggest Dota Psychology movement this world's ever fucking seen, alright? Just nothing you can fucking do when you have these fucking shit stained fucking teammates. Like, this is my turn to be the 1 and 11 teammate, okay? I deserve to be the 1 and 11 teammate, alright? And this game is actually just fucking over. So, you know, once again, Channel Claw, best Dota 2 player this world's ever fucking seen. It's another Dota Psychology episode. And I really just want this fucking game to fucking end right now. This team is so shit! On the bright side, we did form a relatively fast bottle this game, so... You know, that is pretty... You know, who am I fucking kidding, guys? This game's fucking dog shit, alright? This game's fucking over. This fucking Shadow Sham is a fucking shit stain. I actually remember this fucking trend kid for ruining my fucking game. I bet that was actually the fucking shit stain fucking invoker. From the fucking Spirit Breaker game. It actually wasn't. So. They're you know, just some fucking shit stain fucking teammates. I don't know why they aren't just attacking them. Like, look how shit these kids are, you guys. They don't even know how to end the fucking game, alright? And I, I just got a kill right there, so... Nice little stat padding for Chalon on Claw to, you know, end the game on another kill. And if this guy runs into the fountain, he might actually just be getting fucking dumpstered. So yeah, once again, Chalon on Claw, best Dota 2 player the world's ever fucking seen. Showing you guys how to win games time and time again. Showing you how to perform a psychoanalysis on your teammates, alright? Showing you guys how to dumpster kids. And if someone just walks into the fountain, that would be fan-fucking-tastic. And someone's gonna do it. I can feel it any second now. Looks like I am suffering a minor DDoS attack right here. And it looks like the game actually is. This fucking shit same fucking BH might actually be dead. So nice little stat padding for Chalon Qua before the game is over. So, yeah, that is how you get a psychological experiment underway in Dota 2. So, once again, Chalon Qua, best Dota 2 psychologist this world's ever fucking seen. Minus 25 fucking points because my team is fucking dog shit. Alright, once again, being forced to play with 4k teammates. Every single fucking game. Unfortunately, Earthshaker does lose points. So that is rather unfortunate that he won't be able to achieve his precious 5k MMR.